Howdy. Now we're going to look at oxidation of alcohols. We will start with primary alcohols and then we'll look at secondary alcohols. Okay. So the hydroxyl group on an alcohol can be oxidized. Okay, so we need to draw a primary alcohol or actually if we do it this way first, primary alcohol and oxidation, what happens? Okay. When a primary alcohol is oxidized, it turns into or becomes an aldehyde. Okay, it becomes the aldehyde. The same aldehyde as the alcohol. Okay, so they're going to be named the same. So, if for example we look at ethanol, which is a pretty common example, CH3, CH2, and then we've got this OH. Okay, so after oxidation has occurred, we're left with the outer height. Okay, so ethanol, ethanol. Okay, so as a general rule, primary alcohols are oxidized to the aldehyde first. Okay, now there's actually another step, aldehydes are oxidized as well. Um, now aldehydes, I'll leave myself in a space, aldehydes are oxidized to carboxylic acid. Carboxylic acid. Okay. So if we stick with ethanol that we were looking at before, um, uh, ethanol gets oxidized into carboxylic acid, which is ethanoic acid or acetic acid, CH3C, and we're looking at a double O, OH, like this, and I realised, for some reason, I added a H there, which is not possible because carbon can only have four bonds, I did it on the previous example as well. So, ethanol is oxidized to ethanoic acid. Now, any hydroxyl group um, attached to a carbon compound like this can be oxidized to the aldehyde and then to the carboxylic acid. There's no change to the carbon chain at all, there's only a change to the functional group. Okay, so these are the uh, really small examples that you can apply this principle to hydroxyl groups on larger compounds as well. Now we need to look at what substance is used as an oxidizing agent in this process because it can be quite a slow process without use, the use of an oxidizing agent. Now the most common oxidizing agent used is called acidified potassium dichromate solution. Okay, so potassium we know is uh, potassium ions are single plus. Yeah, chromium ions Cr two O seven R two minus. Okay, when you write an equation showing this present for oxidation, you don't have to include the potassium, okay, because it's not involved in the oxidation process at all. Um, all you have to do is write chromium ion and a slash with a H plus, 
and the hydrogen ions indicate that this is an acidified solution. So this is acidified dichromate. Okay. So when you write a reaction for this, or when you write a reaction for these oxidations that we just looked at before, right? You draw your alcohol here. Okay. You then draw your arrow. Okay, and above the arrow you can write Cr2O7 2 minus slash H plus. And in this case we'd end up with an aldehyde after the first oxidation. Um, and again, if you wanted to show the second step, you would just be changing these to the aldehyde and the carboxylic acid. <laughs> Okay, so I'll just draw it out. Fully using ethanol as an example, just so you can see. Okay. Okay, so there's your reaction. Ethanol being oxidized in the presence of dichromate ions to ethanol, which are ex oxidized to ethanoic acid in the presence of dichromate ions. Okay, and that's really what you're required to do. Um, remember, this is primary alcohol oxidation. Okay, um, now I guess we should look at secondary alcohol oxidation. Just quickly, it's pretty straightforward. It's only one step, so I'll just change this. All this. Now, secondary alcohols are oxidized in one step. We're looking at the same conditions: chromate, uh, dichromate, hydrogen. What we end up with is a ketone. Okay, so that's it. Secondary alcohols are oxidized to ketones in the presence of di acidified dichromate. Okay, so I'll draw you an example. Um, the ketone does not go undergo any further oxidation, okay, which is quite handy. It's pretty easy to remember. So we'll look at isopropyl alcohol, or I guess propyl 2 ol It's prop and 2 ol We have dichromate. Now the product is just the ketone, okay? So this alcohol hydroxyl group here is oxidized to the ketone or to the carbonyl group. So CH3, C double bond to an O, CH3. Okay. And this is called propanone or commonly referred to 
as acetone, which you might have heard of before. Nail polish remover sometimes has acetone in it. it smells quite bad. Yeah, and that's it. So primary alcohols are oxidized in the presence of acidified dichromate to the aldehyde and then to the respective carboxylic acid. Secondary alcohols are oxidized in the presence of acidified dichromate to the ketone, and that's it. Um, as a general rule for us, tertiary alcohols are not oxidized by acidified dichromate, dichromate solution.